Founder. Oh, oh great. So yeah. Um, as soon as he's done, we can get you going with some makeup. Okay. I guess so. Or no, if you want to film here, that's fine. My only concern right. is because we've got a steady cam guy, so he's going to be all over the place. So we should check with him. Do you want to come talk sure. to him now? So I left my notebook. Your laptop? Why? No, my notes. Oh, you know, like my notes. Just Keep talk what you know. Huh? But yeah, we don't have a table, so it's really, yeah. Hi, everybody. You guys look busy. Look like you need something. Oh, no. I'll start directing. Ten. Nine. So you see, it's a lot more complicated. Yeah. Ready? One, take one. Two, take two. Where are we going? There we go. Gotcha. I'm free on the podium. So Dave, why am I going to need a hand mic except to talk to people in the audience, right? Alright, okay. Brita here, rep repping the site and uh, you know, yeah, brought the whole show, whole production crew, broadcasting live for Jamie Finch. Uh, the wish Mark was here. The future. Mark, loud now. The loud now. But I'll, I'll take his place and uh, he's here in spirit. Yeah, we're going to hold it down. And I uh, hope it turns out good. Where is Mark again? In Regina? It's on the moon. The, the moon. Where are you at? Webmaster. I'll try to contain Sabrina so she doesn't get too crazy yeah, up in you here. Know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Don't touch me. Stop, behave. Don't let, send, don't let them send us saying? home, okay? Six, seven, zero, nine, zero. And my guest tonight here in the gymnasium, gymnasium I should say, at Yorkwood's public school, Anthony Peruza is here, Toronto City Councilor for Ward 8, York West. Dwight Drummond is here as well, news anchor at City TV. Paul Nguyen is here, founder of Jane-Finch.com. And Sabrina Gopal is here, and she's a Jane Finch activist, obviously with some fans in the crowd. <laughs> To all of you, thank you very much and, uh, and welcome to uh, Gold Hawk Live. Anthony Prusa, let me come to you first. You're the city councillor. We call it Jane Finch, but it has another official name now, doesn't it? Tell us about that. Well, I mean, historically it has, uh, it has um, several, uh, several names, but you're absolutely right. In watching uh, the beginning of the, the program, uh, I think you also have to put it in some historical context. In the 42 years that, that I've lived in this neighborhood, uh, I've seen this community obviously uh, change uh, over time, but uh, there was a time when, uh, when, the, when the neighborhoods were sold to people as University Heights uh, and, uh, and Black Creek. So, but that's uh, the name it, that you're it, trying to come back to, I guess, in a way, right? Well, we want, I, I personally want to I'm give people... I'm not accusing people, you, no, 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 no. I'm just asking you, you if that's what you're precisely. doing. Precisely. Yeah. I, I, I would like to give people some options, yes. Yeah, okay. And how's that been going over? Well, I think it's been, uh, it's, it's had some mixed reviews uh, since, yeah. we, uh, since we first uh, actually launched, uh, launched the, the campaign. But, uh, but I, I just don't, it's not just about a, a rebrand or a name change. It's also yeah. about the significant changes that we would like to, uh, to have happen in this area. We have a subway line coming in here with four subway stops, so, uh, significant investment in the community in terms of jobs, in terms of growth. We're going to build a streetcar line on Finch Avenue. Again, it gives us an opportunity okay. to transform well, we'll the streetscape. Let, let me come to Dwight Drummond. Uh, Dwight, you grew up in this area. Um, how do you feel about the reputation that Jane Finch has these days? When, when you hear that, what's, what's your visceral reaction to it? I mean, there's, there are a lot of neg negative connotations. I, I wish we had the subway back then, because then I wouldn't have to worry about telling the cab driver I'm going to Jane and Steele's or Jane and Shepard. <laughs> you had to lie about it, I said it, right? Jane and Finch, I wasn't going to get home in the cab. But you know, this, growing up here, this was a community of hard-working people. People said, yeah. oh, those guys are lazy, they're in subsidized housing. I would always say, come to the bus stop at the corner of Jane and Finch at 4, 5, 6 a.m., and you'll see all the people heading to those jobs that nobody else wants to do yeah. in this city. And it's sad that that reputation got put on this community, but 99% of the people in this community, that reputation was not deserved. That's Paul right. Nguyen, how are you feeling about, uh, about the brand that, uh, in effect, the media has put on the neighborhood? 
Well, I mean, it's, the, the community also plays a, a responsible part in that role. I mean, there, is, there are negative things happening here. Um, and I think that uh, we can work together to change perceptions, and that's what I'm trying to do uh, with my own website. And we're trying to show the community how it really is by uh, sh having coverage and promoting the positive stories and uh, for people what to see. What kind of reaction are you getting from people to the campaign that you're conducting? Just ordinary people on the street, what are they saying? Well, not just ordinary people on the street, but we have people around the world who are actually fans of the website and they... Well, that's fine. I'd be much more interested in what the people on the street are thinking. <laughs> on the street? Well, yeah. I get a lot of kids go up to me and, you know, they want to join our crew and they yeah. want to know how they can give back and how they can... They have their own stories to tell and they want to break down the stereotypes and show that not everybody here is a, a, a gangster or a thug and that yeah. there are a lot of hardworking people and talented people and we need to get that message across. Sabrina Gopal, what's going through your mind in this discussion so far? Uh, it's, it's what it is. I mean, everyone's got their perspective on the community. Um, and I think we all have a role in, in changing that perspective. But uh, it's not just about image, right? It's about systemic issues, right? And when we start talking about media, there is a role in sensationalizing stories and storytelling and, and the role of who your audience is, right? So, I mean, and in a political role, there, you know, you're the voice of the people. You represent your constituency. And for, for the work we do as independent media, we, we're, we're the storytellers of the community. And we're accessible and we're real. But there still is crime here. Mm -hmm. There is poverty here. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to justify any label put on it by the media. But how do you combat the negative news? Well, okay, or can you really? I mean, if we're talking about crime, that's one thing. But yeah. like, why, is, why does crime exist? How are we accessing these guns? What are opportunities that don't exist for some of these young people mm -hmm. to have options to pursue different dreams? Um, what is the reality in dreaming in a community like Jane and Finch? Here we are. Could you stand up, please? Yes, hi. I've been a resident of Jane and Finch for over 20 years. I just wanted to uh, follow up on what Sabrina said about the funding. Um, a big criticism of Jane and Finch is that it's one of the most heavily funded areas in the country. There's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that it's not important. It's important to fund this area. It's a, um, a high-needs area. But I want to talk about how this funding can be spent in a way that's more effective. Like, how is it being misspent? And do you guys more have... More bang for the buck, are you thinking? Yeah, and yeah. Um, just, you know, looking into how this money is being spent, if it's being spent the way it's supposed to, and if you guys have any ideas on, you know, a different way of looking at community work and making sure that money is being spent more effectively. Okay, all right, let me come back to Sabrina for that. You brought this up a little earlier. Is that money being spent effectively? Um. Sure. You're like, I mean, you know, where, where you see the work being you done. You can see the money being yeah. spent? You I'm can not, see the money at work? Not, not all of it, no. I, like, I, I see gaps. I, I don't... The work is being done. There's amazing people doing the work. Yeah. They're connected to these communities in real ways. But the issues still exist. And, you know, when it comes to the funding body, it, it's a money grab, you know? It's, you know, who has these relationships with the funders? You know, it's who you know. There's grassroots groups out here in Finch that are working on the ground level, but the money's coming from the top. Mm -hmm. It's got to start coming from the bottom. The people itself knows how that money t should be spent. And yeah. I, I think that needs to be neutralized. Neutralized. <laughs> Anthony in New York, or North York, not New York, North York. We need, and then I come back 10 years later and they're still here. We need those people to develop a stake in this area to say, this is our place, it's our home, and we're going to make it the best it can be, and I'm not out of here in, so, uh, in three months' time. So that's the Is it raining though? It's not? I wouldn't mind walking. Test one, two, one, two, one, two, check, my check, my check. What's going on? You go. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, just talk about what we're doing here. Gold Hawk Live, okay. For money? 
It's your girl Butterfly at York Woods Public School for the Gold Hawk Live Rogers TV. Okay. <laughs> I want you to mention that. So JanaFitch.com is always on the grind. We just finished Gold Hawk Live with Rogers TV here at York Woods Public School and now we're on route for more interviews even though we just did the show. So what am I supposed to do? Just grab somebody. Go. Grab somebody. Grab. What did you think of uh, today's uh, broadcast? I, I liked it, except I, I would have, I would have liked to to have seen uh, you guys talk about some of the other stuff that's happening in the neighborhood uh, and some of the positive things that are happening in the neighborhood. Some of the things that you guys are involved in, uh, but not necessarily just wearing the JenningFinch.com flag, but then also being able to talk about some of the great things that are happening and and some of the very exciting things that are happening. So like what? Like what? Because what you did we miss? Like you In an miss, hour. You missed <laughs> the fact that several billion dollars are going to be spent in the neighborhood, for example, and that that is going to basically change the dynamic of the neighborhood.